Good morning from Hamban Toda. It's a great opportunity here to have a good outing before those qualifiers for Sri Lanka. It's Nippon Paints. It presents uh, the ODI series between Sri Lanka and Afghanistan. Right, these two teams, they are certainly no strangers to each other, having played against each other back in November of 2022. And if that series is anything to go by, this should be a real cracker. Out here in the middle, our match referee, Mr. Ranjit Madagali. Hashmatullah Shahidi, our captain of Afghanistan, and Dasun Shanaka, the home captain of Sri Lanka. Dasun, you got the coin. Heads. Heads is the call. Heads is the call. It is heads, Afghanistan. Hashmatullah. Hashmat, why don't you come forward a little bit, please? Thanks. So, what are you going to do first and why? Uh, Bismillah rahman rahim we want to bowl first. The reason is wicket is fresh and uh, it looks it will be a bit seen in the first half hour. Well, no surprises there. They win the toss and ball first. Have a look at the Sri Lanka side. They've got two debutants. Tell us more about them. And also, Dimut Karnaratta coming into the side to add some stability. Yeah. But as far as the debutants are concerned, we do know about Patirana what he did in the IPL. But then Dushman, you know, Hemant, Dushan Hemant is an unknown quantity as far as international cricket is concerned. But he was extremely good against England Lions in that the white ball series. He was the player of the tournament. And he's also an all-rounder. He's playing as a bowler here, but he could bat. He's a leg spinner, which is a priceless quality. With the Vanidu Hasaranga not playing, so Sri Lankan selectors looking at an option just in case Vanidu Hasaranga is injured or as an extra option. Let's have a quick look at uh, Afghanistan. Now, no Rashid Khan. There's been a lot of talk. He's got a lower back injury, so he's rested for the first two games. That's the official call. But still, a lot to deal with in terms of this 11 that's on offer. Oh, yeah. They are a wonderful white ball side, isn't it? I mean, they are just so much in demand right around the world. They're so good in that shortest format. But always, the 50 over has been a challenge for them. The last time uh, Sri Lanka and Afghanistan played, it was a one-all. The last game was a spoiler. You know, that series was a series that Sri Lanka was best. Good morning to you, HD, and good morning to all our viewers. Yes, definitely exciting times ahead for Sri Lanka with uh, Matisha Patirna and Dushan Hemanta deserving getting their ODI caps this morning. It's a huge opportunity for the man on the screen, Dimut Karnaratna, who has made a comeback for the ODI side. So, uh, no surprise, you were out there, you had a look at the middle a little bit earlier and you felt that the right decision was to bowl first. Absolutely, HD. Looking at the team composition of both the teams, it's a no-brainer. Dimut Karnaratna, as you correctly said, making a, a comeback to the ODI side after nearly three and a half years. Patum Nisanka in his uh, usual position as an opening batsman. It's Fazal Akfaruki with a new ball for Afghanistan. Little bit of wide, little bit of swing. Whipped away and four. And it'll just run away. Outside edge and second slip in place. Nothing shot by Dimut Karnaratna. Trying to dag down to us third man for a single. In the end, just find the fielder in the second slip, Ramit Shah. And Afghanistan strikes with a new ball. Nice and easy, good length, good line. Gone for four. And Sri Lanka, six for one. This should run away for four and does. It ends the fifth over, 20 for one. Yeah, long off volley, got the treatment. End of the sixth, 25 for one. Four, lovely stroke, shot of the morning so far. Definitely very close to the cover drive played by Kusal Mendes in the last over. Oh, what a good shot that is. He's played some exquisite shots. That's another one of those. That's a nice looking back foot punch into the gap. This outfield is quick. What a shot to watch. And he's got him. That is a catch. I would call it probably a soft dismissal. It was there to be hit, but he's just found that fielder a short mid wicket. He's looking at the toe end of the bat. Well, Kusal Mendes, I think, didn't find the ball coming on as quickly as he expected. That's the reason why he looked at the toe of the bat. Well, he was looking good out for Levin. 38 for two. It's 
slightly short and he's found the gap square leg won't get to it and neither will deep fine leg I don't think the left arm quick will be shy to use the bouncer just like that and the outside edge just spoke about the bouncer will be used and Farid did and Angelo Matthews played a little bit early great three munition service on that occasion a couple of pitched up deliveries and then a bouncer sharp bouncer caught behind but it is strikes for Afghanistan they are on top at the moment 61 for 3 Angelo Matthews the veteran goes for 12 bounce attempted neatly played by uh, Patum Nisanga by sector that gap it's a beautiful pull shot for a boundary after a while pulls it into the gap bouncing away to the boundary for four the real lose delivered by Mujib and uh, Charita Salanka is very good at playing those driven into the gap exciting stroke boundary to finish the 19th over it's 84 for three Shot again in the air. short mid good fielder takes a good catch what a catch looks like uh, it's a skipper Hasmatullah Shahidi a short mid wicket never easy running behind look at this one from Mujib once again the Kerem delivery getting the top edge and uh, just to perfection fine catch completed eventually by Hasmatullah Shahidi Mujib strikes it's 84 for 4 Nishanka goes for 38 Under edge, right through Ramula Gurbaz's uh, feed and uh, goes to the boundary. The played pace was offered by Nur Rahman and Dharanja De Silva, classical through the offside. Gotcha, Allah. That was a planned dismissal, but that is a heck of a stroke. That is real good. Well, that's fine. That's fine and away for four. That is a good shot. That is a clever shot. Don't forget, there's day night games. Nicely played. And that, uh, for a moment, I thought will run away to the boundary. In fact, it has. And the outfield was passed. It was poor fielding. From this position, this is the 32nd over to be completed. Nicely played. This occasion was too straight. The in swinger this time to Charita Salanka played it neatly and found the gap. Nicely played, lapping it over, Ramla Gurbaz, bouncer, attempted by Fazal Akfarukia, like the intention. Good ship in there, just over mid wicket, that's been his area. He's got a lot of runs in that area, both against pace and spin, and I think it beat the fielder. Factor that was given to Sri Lanka, after they lost the toss. Pulled into the gap, it's gone for four. So he's on 48. This has been great partnership. Smacked away. And it's going to go away. For four, it's 50 up. Boris Nanka, what a fantastic innings from him. Under pressure. Yeah, Asalanka puts his 7th 50 in ODIs. Soft hands, and that takes him to a 50. This is his ninth 50 in Wonder Internationals. First versus Afghanistan. And what a moment to get there, helping the side to build up on a good score batting first. These two have done very well building up that 96 run partnership and still going on. Yay. Oh, he's tried to play it across the line, he's gone right through. Second spell from Mohammad Nabi, and he comes in and breaks that 99 run partnership. He'll be livid with himself. It's him and him again. The president just bowling accurate lines taking distance trying to play it across the line De Silva goes for well made half century 51 it's 183 for 5 Sri Lanka batting first gets it over the top of mid wicket will be challenged for the field to, to cut that one off it's gone for 4 welcome boundary for Sri Lanka he's found the gap that's a gorgeous shot that's gone for 4 Great delivery, Nurema the strikes, it was a matter of time, 
He was getting into groove and he has finally found the wicket. Possibility of doing something magical for South Africa, Sri Lanka. Look at this one. Gujarat teammate, Gujarat Titans teammate has been dismissed by young and emerging, exciting Noor Ahmad. Sanaka goes for 17. Goes over the top. He picks his gap. Charita Salanka has been very good with his shot selection. It had to be four as well. In pace of the ball, and that's a boundary. A lot of power, he virtually swatted it. It's a big shout from both and given. They might very well go upstairs here. And Hemantha has said please, and Asalanka has said absolutely. So they go upstairs. Yeah, keep going through. Yeah, and freeze it there. Freeze it there. Thank you. We have a spike with the ball next to the bat, uh, and no daylight between bat and the ball. So, Ragif, I'll get you to overturn your decision to not out. You're on screen now. Brilliant. On bended knee. Oh, he's got all of that. Absolutely everything. The first six of the match, and that's provided by Dushan Hemanta. It's a slower ball, dug into the surface though, and he just waits and waits and helps himself. That's a big hit. Goes over mid on. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Didn't middle it. But a good little innings, a nice little hand here by Hemanta. Real urgency, I was looking to go over the top again. Pace of the ball, two end of the bat, 22 of 20. It's 263 for seven. No, oh, run out, run out. There it is. Asalanka's innings will come to a close in the most unfortunate of circumstances. But a very good innings at that. And he was out by yards. Salanka very unfortunate but very well played 91 of 95. Hasn't Roger there. Bowled him. First ball. Lovely seam presentation just off the pads. Hasan Rajita looking for that run on the leg side. Two wickets of two balls. Out for not. Oh, one runs, one doesn't, and there'll be another run out here. There is. We're gonna go upstairs. Here's the run out again. Just having a look now. Yes, That's okay, satisfied. Uh, just keep rolling through. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Removal of the bills. Yeah, the weakness being broken. Batsman shot of his ground. Ready for my decision on the big screen. They're losing the toss. Yeah, for 80 plus for four, 84 for four. Sri Lanka would be very pleased with what they ended. But going into the last three overs with Charit Asalanka in, you would have expected a better finish. Which resulted in getting to 268 when I thought could have gone, got close to about 280. 268 on this surface, at this ground, is not going to be the easiest chase. Oh, but what about this man, HD Kurbas? What a player, he is such a powerful player. And his opening partner, Brahim Zadran. I think it's been a, a criticism of their side over the years, as they've grown as an international team, is that they've been too reliant on their spin bowling. Oh, how well bowled is that? What about that for some late swing? And that will go for four. So this time it doesn't swing. And that will run away as well. It will be leg buys though. Again, not middled, but the outfield is very quick here. This will be touch and go. Boundary wins. Chopped it on. Chopped it on. Sri Lanka had the breakthrough. Yeah, there was frustration building. It was frustrating, but followed. Take under rage onto the leg stab. That's the wicket Sri Lanka wanted. They needed a breakthrough. Out for 14. Afghanistan 25 for 1. He's up and riding. He's off the mark. Timing is perfect. 
Never thought it will reach the boundary. The timing is so good. Lovely stroke. Many more runs. This one doesn't swing, gets pushed down the leg side, and again, a tough chase. And the boundary will win once more. Inside edge. Superb delivered by Kasun Raritha. Did not deserve that result. Most of the uh, time, this batsman have scored runs. In the air and goes over. For a moment, I thought that uh, wideish deep fine leg would be in business. Slightly shorter. And for a moment, you and I thought, Sikandar, it was going to be a good catch. Oh, that's uh, one slip out of the hand. Trying to uh, bowl a fuller length. Oh, he's flicked that. That will go all the way as well. That's a big expensive over. 17 of it. What timing. Drives a run. Just driving that one through. Drills it down for a boundary. And why not? Because you've got a free hit. With three balls to go. Yes, that edge. That'll be another boundary. Runs are leaking thick and fast now. Half century comes up for Ibrahim Zadran with that shot. 50 of 35. Okay on the offside, that's four. He is starting to change gears. Oh, well played. Very well played. He'll get a boundary. The pads just over mid wicket. More runs here, should run away to the boundary. Ibrahim Zadran enjoying himself. That's a beautiful shot, this time by Brian Zadran. Really hard. A little sweep attempted, probably the bat. Oh, run out chance here. And huge appeal, maybe, just maybe, does the job. And the umpire at Square Lake going upstairs. And the body language of Sri Lanka is quite good. Roll it through. Yeah. Roll it through and freeze that. And just take it back one frame, please. The TV umpire, Michael Goff decides, and the right call. That's a lot of runs, with no delivery counted. That's not really working for Sri Lanka. So trying to do that, that's another good shot. Just, just beautifully played. Oh, chance in the deep, chance in the deep. He's got him, he's got him. And another player falls short of 100 today. Sri Lanka needed it. That was the bouncer. Surprised him with the short delivery. He was looking to pitch it up. It was a good catch. He was setting him up nicely, pitching it up, and then bending his back. Very unfortunate out for 98. 171 for two. This is a good shot. This is a good shot. Delivery. Swung away on the leg side. We'll find the boundary. Stroked away. Beautifully struck for four, and it's 200 up for Afghanistan. Stroked over the top of mid wicket. It's going to go away to the boundary for four. That's the top edge. It's an opportunity here and takes it. For a moment, I thought he might be late, but he's got underneath it. Patirana finally has a wicket. Maiden wicket gets the top edge. It's been was in position, it was going into the breeze. He had to come forward, kept his eyes on the ball. Remasha goes for 55, a brilliant half century. It's 211 for three, Afghanistan. Gets it fine and is going to pick up a boundary. Keeps it down and does very well, Mohammad Nabi. A boundary. Drive again. This should be runs here. Should be four of them. 35 of 35 outside edge. Similar delivery, but Mohammad Nabi delivered the entire day. Dhananj Silva delivers, and this time outside edge and brings a boundary. <laughs> There's a, there's a big appeal from all the fielders and then eventually 
eventually Rajita turns around and asks the question of the standing umpire and the Afghan captain is given out. This late in the game, he still gets that bounce. Shahidi, the skipper, gone for 38. Afghanistan, 253 for four. Oh, up and over, this will fall safely. Better than that, better than that, Nabi gets a boundary. Edged fine, fine. Work for the man at deep third, too much. That'll be four. That will be four. And that'll be it. Zadran with the winning runs. Afghanistan have won this first one day international very comfortably. Afghanistan that uh, bowl first. But they still have to chase something significant, particularly at this ground in day games. You don't see high scoring games. 268 was a good total that was set. In the end, they did it very comfortably. Brilliant innings from Ibrahim Zadran. 98 falling just too short of what would have been his fourth one day international 100 in just nine matches. Ramat Shah ably supported him. Nabi, as the consummate professional does, took them over the line. Body for Sri Lanka. Asun Rajat to start the proceedings really well. Picked up a couple of wickets. Zaidu Kumara, 4.3 overs, nursed injury, went back, picked up a wicket. Matisha Patina didn't have the best of debut. Was all over, picked up his debut cut as well. In the end, a convincing win for Afghanistan. Was Sri Lanka who batted first, 268 all out. Sri Lanka 91 played well, well supported by Dhananjaya, even though I think he'll be a bit disappointed of his dismissal for 51. Farid was the pick of them for Afghanistan with his 2 for 43 and 8. In reply, Afghanistan did it with quite some time to go. 269 for 4, led by Ibrahim Zadran, 98. In the end, they win by 6 wins.